for young students, the medical psychiatry lines offer a very exciting and innovative uh, way to think about medicine. The mind and the body that have been separated now for three centuries are coming back together. I deal with medical students all the time who come in and are so excited to be in medicine, but they want to do surgeries and they want to treat heart attacks and they just want to do the quick fixes. I think what ends up happening though when they come to family medicine, they see that medicine doesn't have an, a start date and an end date. There's a continuum. I think that there are some medical students who might uh, question the need to learn about uh, mental and physical health in this integrated fashion. And I would say to them, perhaps we could have the best physical care provided for many of these patients, yet these mental health conditions and uh, concerns can be a significant barrier to the success of uh, whether it be medical or surgical care. So if you're a young doctor and you've just graduated and you're, or you're here as a trainee and you're going to go into practice, most of your medical education will have focused on medical issues and, and medical needs. Uh, even, as, uh, even as a medical student, your exposure to children's mental health issues will be minimal. And, and yet you will go into practice and you will be expected to deal with those issues. You will be the go-to person. You, you know, even TV commercials tell families to go to their family doctor if you have this concern. So you will be the expert, the go-to person. And although you may not think that that's what you want to do or where you want to work, you're going to have to be skilled in that area. You may end up in a small community where you are the only resource. And, and although you may not have had the training, you do need to be aware of those issues. You do need at least to be aware of where those resources are if you're not the one who can provide those services directly. As a medical student, when you graduate, the lack of recognition of the extent to which mental health issues and mental health illness pervade medical illness, that recognition is absolutely essential because what most of our medical students, me included, learn when they leave medical school is how pervasive mental health issues are to their patients. That's true for cardiac patients, that's true for patients who suffer with diabetes, that's true for patients who suffer with eating disorders. Additionally, education is a significant component of what MPA is about, and that's education not just of trainees, of all disciplines, but it's education of the public. It's public awareness, it's families, um, it's kids, it's, uh, it's community service providers, it, it's supporting the frontline workers, whether it's a family doctor or a pediatrician or a social worker or, or a child life specialist or a child and youth worker. This is really uh, one of the few times that attention is paid to the education of a variety of, of caregivers. Thank you.